Hey guys, welcome to Weekend Fishing. Look a little bit sloppy this week. I apologize. I have been a little bit under the weather. I don't know what my excuse has been all the other weeks, but this week I have an excuse. Valentine's Day is this week and I will be spending it alone. Surprise, surprise. So I have been racking my brains trying to think of a way to connect this love shit to fashion. So at first I thought I would go to the department store, I would go to the Valentine's section, and I was gonna take a picture of all the really ugly Valentine's Day clothing and I was gonna show it to you. When your boyfriend dumps you for wearing this catastrophe, you at least have some tissues to blow your nose with. If Liza Minnelli threw up on me, I have a feeling this is what I would suddenly be wearing. I'm okay with that a little bit. But that was it, the Valentine's Day section was a little bit disappointing. So I thought, let's talk about the emotional relationship-esque connections we sometimes get to various pieces of clothing. Now, I'm a very visual person, so I tend to remember what I wore on very specific dates or in important parts of the relationship or during breakups. And sometimes I subconsciously attach really negative feelings to certain pieces of clothing. And I thought it would be a very releasing experience that sounds like I'm gonna poop on you. I thought it would be an interesting experience to explore some of those items of clothing because I think it's fascinating how one person or one situation can influence how you feel towards an outfit. So first of all, we have these super stunningly shapely sweatpants that I bought about six years ago in Branson, Missouri, AKA the very Bradley capital of the world, AKA hell on earth. There is a huge hole in the butt, I would hope I guess you have a hole in your butt. Are you really doing a butt joke? Now when I got home from making this purchase, I realized that the cashier had slipped his number into my bag. So now every time I wear these sweatpants, I can't help but feel, you know, super sexy. Who doesn't feel sexy when they're wearing sweatpants? Our next item is this perfectly lovely thrift store blazer. And one of my exes actually bought this for me. We were out shopping at the time and I didn't have enough money and he surprised me with it. So every couple of years, I like to take it out of my closet and admire it and remember what a nice gesture that was. And then I remember, that he dumped me and I hang it as far as back in my closet as I can go. Now I purchased this cardigan at Topshop in New York after a really bad breakup. Also, I believe I was possessed by Satan at the time because oh my god. I usually really love Topshop but every time I wear this it looks like I have one arm and then half the time this random pocket flops out and it looks like I'm Janet Jacksoning all over town. Now to the untrained eye, this may look like an extremely basic striped shirt. And it is. This actually is a very basic striped shirt. But a couple years ago when I was riding the subway in Philly one day, a man grabbed my ass while I was wearing this shirt. And by ass, I mean that empty space between my back and my legs. And finally, we have one of my favorite cardigans. I was wearing this cardigan one night when I went out with some of my BFFs in up in the club. But the memory I attached to this is that when I was wearing it that night, I barfed all over some random girl. Every time I touch it, it's like I can hear her shrill screeching. <laughs> and it just makes me laugh. There's actually a slight discoloration on one of the shoulders where I was kind of... <laughs> barf drooling. So this week I want to know what clothing items you have that you attach certain people and certain situations to. You can let me know in the comment section. Also next week I'm going to start answering some of your questions again. So as usual if you have questions for future videos you can leave those in the comment section too or send me a message at cupofjoeshow.com. And I will see you guys Monday. I hope you all have a great Valentine's Day. I hope it's better than mine. It's pretty much guaranteed it will be. Mm -hmm.